Hey guys, what's going on? It's Javon Blanc with Chill Tech. Now before I get our unboxing of the Google On Hub started, I want to quickly say that I apologize for not getting the release of the uh, Alienware Alpha video. Now, I have recently took over the responsibilities of that video and due to some unforeseen things and also you guys, guys can see here that things look a little bit different. We're actually setting up a new studio. So not to say that we, you know, we should have done the video before in the old studio, but we're trying to get things situated so we can make better quality content. So with that out the way, let's go ahead and start the Alienware Alpha video. But quickly, I just want to mention again that you will be seeing the Alienware Alpha video very soon. That is our next full release, I promise. I promise. So, came home and reached a new package. Of course, everybody know what package it is. It's, and I'm not gonna do any speculation stuff. This is the Google On <laughs> Hub video uh, unboxing. So let's go ahead and get this baby unboxed. So we have here the Google On Hub. Let's go ahead and peel off some of this plastic. Uh, we'll take a look around the box to see here. We have what's in the box, which is pretty much uh, the router, two Ethernet cables, a power adapter, a startup guide, and it tells us to get the app, plug it in, and we're good to go. Now the Google On Hub is pretty much Google saying that this is the solution to easy wireless routing. Is this a router made by TP-Link? Yes, I know people say TP-Link makes some really crappy routers. This is my second experience with TP-Link router. My first one wasn't so good, but because Google's behind it, and I know how serious they take their products, I'm not gonna dismiss it just because of TP-Link. All right, so let's see what else we have in the box here. Besides the router, we have a styrofoam cup piece. Check that out. And we have a packet and another packet. So first of all, this box is really good. I mean, this is like a very, very well designed uh, piece of tech here. So that's really cool. Now, inside this package, I think it's the, the plug-in stuff, I would, I would assume. So this one, yep, this is the plug. It's not USB Type-C or anything, right? Is it? No, <laughs> of course not. All right, so this is the plug, a uh, TP-Link plug. Uh, so that's, plugging, that's for plugging in the router. And then I would assume the Ethernet cables are in here. Yeah, two flat Ethernet cables. Pretty, pretty much, uh, pretty high quality uh, Ethernet cables. Now I want to know: Are these Cat Six or Cat Five? I couldn't find out. Um, I couldn't find any information on the website. But if you guys, you know, would know this stuff, leave a comment below. Let me know if this is Cat Five or Cat Six. I hope it's Cat Six. I have my own Cat Six cables, just in case it isn't. But hey. So here is the Google On Hub. This is the router. It looks really cool, actually. It looks actually really nice. Has a nice matte blue uh, texture and feel and finish, and has like a little rubbery thing on the bottom. Has like router information and a little speaker on top here. There's no microphone, so this is not an Echo. You know, not some like okay Google type of like device, but. It's really <laughs> made really well. The uh, build quality on the bottom is definitely metal. It feels really good. It's high class. You can take off this cover, which reveals the I.O. And more plastic. Take off this plastic here. All right. And this is the, the Google On Hub from the inside. We are granted with a one USB port, which is not active at the moment. Um, Neither is the Bluetooth feature and some other features, but like I say, this is a future-proof router, so they say, meaning you will get serious features and updates down the road um, with this device. It has four gigabytes of, of uh, internal memory, which is absurd for a router, and that does that means that it can take, you know, it can get updates and download them in the background while the uh, router is being used. There's two Ethernet ports. Yes, I know my power users out there are like, what the hell? There's no Ethernet ports. Listen. If you need Ethernet ports that badly, just buy a freaking switch. Like seriously, like don't 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 bitch and complain that the I/O only has two Ethernet ports. When we're, Google's focus is they're not, they're not the Ethernet company; they're the wireless company. You know what I'm saying? They want to promote, uh, you know, 
wireless connectivity and you want to make sure that it's better. So of course, they're not going to focus too much on Ethernet ports. Plus features in here are bonkers. That has 13 wireless antennas, which is just ridiculous. Like I said, but this is not a full review, so we'll talk about the performance and everything uh, when that review comes out. So, this is the Google On Hub unboxing. Uh, I, can think, I, can, I guess I can go ahead and do a setup for you guys if you like. I can do a quick setup, and then after that video, then we'll give you the review sometime in the next coming weeks. So, let's go ahead and, and test it out with the setup. Okay, so gone are the days of 192.168.1.1 or .0.1 or whatever ISP provider you have. Now we go to the app on Hub. And this app, Google says, will easily set us up to get it straight away. Now this is very similar to the setup of like the Apple Airport, uh, but it's supposed to be a lot easier because there's less things to interact with here. I found the on Hub for a try. Yay! And let's see how easy this setup is. So. You're seeing with me for the first time. Get close to the on hub and press next. Now the reason why we're getting close is actually because it's actually really cool technology right here. Um, <laughs> did you see that? And it always say, did you see that? But did you hear that? See, the on hub is using new technology that sends a code via a sound so no more trying to get you know network administrative keys and things like that it all transfers via sound this is really cool and it's really easy and really secure technology so that's the best of both worlds right here so now we're connecting to the on hub let's see how this goes and takes apologize for the yellowish tint here we have of course we have really bad lighting inside of the office <laughs> I'll probably speed this part along. So now this installing updates for the auto hub. So it looks like it has updates already. That's pretty cool. And then notify me when the auto hub is ready. This may take up to five minutes. So five minutes additional would have been faster so far if I just went into the uh, settings manually. Maybe, but also. Some routers, when you, when you now buy them, have firmware out the box also, especially in those new ones. So, we'll see. All right, so, now it's ready, and it wants us to give us a network name and password. So let's go ahead and do that here. All right, so, I'll give it a network name. Home is where your on hub is. I like that. Building my Wi-Fi network. Connected to Wi-Fi. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and test out my signal strength. And let's go ahead and check it out. Looks like it's uh look it's working. Currently connected to Nexus Home, which is now my new uh <laughs> my new SSID. So on hub, let's see what's now. Press continue. Let's see what we get here. I can add new on hub stuff. Let me know that everything is good on one device. I so let me know what devices I have connected. And I can manage each device, no worries. And there's internet settings here. So I gotta tell you, man, this is really cool. This is a really nice, really nice setup. It was very non intrusive. And this was someone who was not, let's say, someone who was not network savvy. Um, I would definitely recommend this router for them to set up and troubleshoot because it seems really easy. But to know my full review and opinion on everything here, I will let you guys know later in our full review. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more content like this, definitely subscribe and share this video. Uh, you know, because it helps promote the channel and you guys get to stay first in line with all of our chill tech videos. We have a lot of tech videos coming up. We got a lot of reviews on gadgets. We got a lot of reviews on like routers and like, you know, tablets and phones and stuff. Even some of the new stuff, as, you know, as soon as it comes out. So, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Like this video. And of course, keep it chill, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.
SSS. You guys remember that, that uh, announcement today on that new Google stuff? It is so cool. Check it out. Okay, Google. Demoing this awesome software so I can see your face. Thingy, move up and down. Here are your Gmail messages. <laughs> Fucking Google. I love it. <laughs> 